Gracias. Today we will show you how to make the most delicious keftedes. Keftedes, for those who are not sure, is meatballs. And let's start right away. Simple, quick, delicious. Natasa, are we ready to see all the ingredients? More than ready. So we put salt, one and a half or two tablespoons of salt, but always put a bit less there. How much mince have you got in that bowl? We have one kilo of mince. So all the ingredients is for one kilo. So for one kilo, we put one and a half to two tablespoons of salt. Then we put two eggs. Then we put onions. It's about three big onions. about one and a half cup of breadcrumbs or if you have bread that it's not fresh about half of bread that you put it in a, a soak in the water and then you just um, take the water out and then you put the bread inside then you put about a handful of parsley and you finish it off with about uh, one and a half or two cups of olive oil right is that now how we put them all together yes all together and now we mix all the ingredients that then become one thing yeah the kneading for me is nice because it must be well mixed to make the meatball yes. tasty now that's how that looks delicious and it even smells good we haven't even begun cooking it it's very nice and delicious you will see I see that you put parsley. I know sometimes when I'm in the mood, I actually substitute parsley for mint, but that's your personal preference. Yes. So if someone likes mint more than parsley, you can put mint. Otherwise, parsley, if you don't like anything, then you don't put anything. And then at the end, we put a little bit of baking soda because it makes the uh, mints and the meat to be not so stiff or compact. Um, has a feeling that it's a bit fluffy, more more airy. So also now, optional. What size meatball are we going to make? The size of a meatball is usually this one. That size. Mm -hmm. If you want bigger, you can make it like a patty. So it's for the burgers. Like a hamburger patty. Yes. yes. Great. Yeah, because this is perfect if you want to make hamburger patties. Absolutely. The most delicious and healthy. Natasa, I see we're nearly done. And you've made yours a little bit bigger and flatter. So for anyone who's confused, you can make it any shape you want. It's up to you. This, this shape is um, the meatballs. If you want to make bigger, as we said, it's for the burgers. And then you can also, you can give that shape. Yes. Also, you can give yes. that shape a little bit of a flat, like eggplant shape. Yes. Yes, it's up to you. I like I like to make them round because it's easy for the kids to eat or for parties, and these are perfect for a meal at home. So the next step is to fry these guys. Yes. Okay, Tashi. So this is the last part before the delicious goodness. Yes. So now we have the fry pan the uh, sunflower oil and must be quite hot and then in a plate i have flour i prefer to flour the meatballs outside and then to put them uh, in the fry pan to to fry but this this is optional again you, you don't have to put flour okay Next time you see these gorgeous meatballs, they'll be ready to be eaten. And as you can see, the delicious kefteves are ready. Dzadziki that we already showed how to do it, meatballs, and we fried also some uh, potatoes. And we add on top salt and oregano. A nice Greek style of seasoning. And these are just simply ready and delicious to be enjoyed. Kaliorexin. Mm.